Welcome to Vinyasa this morning. My name is Malak. I'll be leading you. We're gonna start lying on our backs. We have uh, less than a minute to begin. Um, we're not gonna need any props. We're just gonna use our bodies for today. Just have your mat, a water bottle or something and we'll begin lying on our backs. I'm just gonna check what happened to the music for a second. I don't know how, okay, it's working. rocking you feel the distance increases between your ribs and hips on the inhale and then it shortens on the exhale and I guess you have three more inhales and three more exhales you just get this awareness that you can only move 
your pelvic floor without moving your shoulders or your upper body. Last one. And then when we talk about neutral spine, is in between the inhale and the exhale that we just did. This time reach your arms, so keep the bottom stable, press down onto your heels, reach your arms all the way up towards the ceiling, palms together and start rotating towards the right corner of the ceiling, reaching the left shoulder off the mat and then rock to the other side, rolling off your right shoulder, your gaze, your eyes are following your thumbs, your palms all the way from left back to center and then to the right corner of the seat. Just do a few more rocking your upper body with a slight twist. I'm just gonna turn off the comments so that you can see. Yes, nice. And we do a few more, just awakening our body. Warming up this rotation with a slight twist to your chest from left to right. Nice. And then relax at the center. Palms are facing each other so they're away from each other. And we're going to reach as if you're touching the ceiling with the tips of your fingers and then pull them back. So shoulder blades go away from each other, reaching out to the ceiling and then pull them back towards each other, away from the ceiling. So keep doing five more, reach to the ceiling and then pull it back to squeeze those shoulder blades towards each other. And we keep going, three more. And feel the movement initiating from your shoulder blades those two triangles at the top of your back. Last one, reach and then pull it back towards each other. Relax your arms and make sure there's space over your head. We're gonna reach the arms all the way over our head. Palms are facing up towards the ceiling. Spine is neutral, send your right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Up towards the ceiling. Make sure your spine is still neutral. And then send as well the left leg extended all the way up towards the ceiling. And then start lowering slow, slow the right leg up to 45. Are you still keeping your neutral? Your, you can start lowering the left as well to 45. We wait here for 10 breaths. While we're here, start pointing and flexing your toes. Yes, waking up your ankles. And just six more breaths. Neutral spine, shoulders relaxed away from your ears, palms are hovering, and you're pointing and flexing. Last two breaths here. And then slowly hug your knees to your chest, rock from side to side, massaging your back all the way. And then land on your right side, press your left palm onto the floor, bring yourself up seated and we'll come on to tabletop yes, we'll come on to tabletop so make sure your wrists on the shoulders, wide spread your fingers and knees on the hips, tuck your toes and on the inhale we'll start sending the bum up towards the ceiling for cow tilt, look up Exhale, round your spine, belly to spine, let your head hang. And then come to neutral, hover your knees, hold here for five breaths, press down onto your thumbs and pinkies. Make sure your hips are squared. Three more breaths. And then push your bum up towards the ceiling for a downward dog. Pedal your knees. Make sure your palms are shoulder width apart. Don't let your head drop. Make sure it's aligned with your spine. And then press high onto your toes. Start waving your spine forward to plank. Hold for a breath. Adjust your plank. I need to walk my palms a little bit forward under my wrists. Hips are squared. And then lower the knees to tabletop again. Inhale. Start the cow. From the bottom of your spine. Look up. 
exhale, cat tilt, round your spine, let your head hang, and then come to neutral, hover the knees again, we'll do one more cycle of this, yes, hips are squared, core engaged, feel your own strength and power keeping you here, press your hips up towards the ceiling, again adjust your downward dog, pedal, neck and spine aligned, send your bum up, keep pushing your bum up towards the ceiling, heels towards the mat, and then rise high onto your toes, start waving your spine, come forward to plank, nice, lower the knees to the mat, on the inhale start the wave from the bum belly towards the mat, open your chest, look up, exhale to cat, round your spine, let your head hang, Come to neutral, hover the knees, again, hold for five breaths, and then to downward dog, and again take your five breaths to pedal, extend, align the neck and spine, feel the release of your vertebras, they are unloaded right now, no load, no stress, just stretching and lengthening the back of your legs and your spine. Rise high onto your toes, tilt your pelvis, wave your spine to plank. And we'll hold here for five breaths. High on the back toes, adjust your plank. Level your hips, press down onto your thumbs and pinkies. Neck and spine aligned. And then push back to downward dog. Start walking your feet towards your hands. Come to the top of the mat. Fold completely. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine to flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Rise high onto your toes, extend those ankles, reach to the ceiling through your shoulders, your arms, your fingers. Hold as if you're wearing high heels. Strong toes. And then on the exhale, land back, relax your arms, shake. And we'll begin with a few sun salutations. <clears throat> so you can have feet together or hip width apart, whatever is accessible and keeps you balanced in your pose. So on the inhale, you're going to circle your arms all the way up. Exhale, keep your ribs in, fold, plant your palms. Completely let go of your head. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. Exhale to plank. And in plank, you can have your knees to the mat if you want, or lift your knees, stay in the plank. And we'll begin to squeeze the shoulder blades towards each other and away from each other. Elbows are straight, spine and neck aligned. Press down onto your thumbs and pinkies. Feel your own strength and power and keep squeezing those blades towards each other and away from each other. Do more. You can have knees to the mat. Keep the elbows straight and just squeeze. As if there is a pencil between your shoulder blades and you're trying to squeeze it. And then lower all the way down to the mat. Forehead to the mat. Walk your palms a few inches forward. We're going to Sphinx. Press the tops of your Feet to the mat, on the inhale, press, curl your chest, vertebra by vertebra, all the way up, and then lower back, thumbs under nipples, curl your toes, press your chest up, then your knees up to downward dog. Adjust your downward dog, take a few breaths here, feel it, no judgment, just feel your body, bend one knee, extend the other, enjoy the stretch, we're not resting, we're, re we're lengthening our muscles and unloading our spine. Keep your neck and spine aligned. Nice. Two more breaths here. And then rise high onto your toes, bend the knees, look between your palms, walk left foot forward and right foot forward, fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, circle your arms all the way up. If you have space, I have the wall. Exhale, lower. And again, inhale, circle your arms all the way up. Exhale, while you're folding, keep your ribs in and hinge from your hips. Fold all the way down. Plant your palms. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. Exhale, back to plank. And here in plank, we're going to do some eel wave. We want to move our spine vertebra by vertebra. So we're going to go back to downward dog. Send the shoulder blades away from each other. Start waving the spine. Connect back to downward dog. From downward dog, rise high onto your toes. Tilt your pelvis and wave forward to plank. Back to downward dog. So flow with your breath, inhale, rise high, tilt the pelvis, wave forward, last thing to follow the head. And then back to downward dog. It will feel sometimes at the beginning that your spine is not super flowed and you're not really articulating that much. But with practice, it will happen. So we do three more. Inhale to plank. Back to downward dog. And to plank, downward dog, last one, high, as great, to plank, lower to, down, to tabletop. We'll come to tabletop, make sure wrists on the shoulders, knees on the hips. And yeah, we'll work a little bit onto our hips. Again, make sure your spine is neutral. Remember that neutral spine from pelvic rocks. And we'll do a few things, hip twists, where you're gonna bring your right knee over the left elbow, left knee over the right elbow, while keeping your shoulders stable, shoulder joints above your wrists, neck and spine aligned, elbows are straight, and you're twisting from the hip. Yes. Keep it going. Keep the stability. And keep breathing in through the nose and out through your nose. And we do four more on each knee. Three more. Two. And last one on the right. Then last one on the left, and then open the knees as wide as the mat, big toes touching, and start walking your palms forward. I want you to keep your arms extended, parallel to each other, active, you're lengthening through your shoulder joints, through your arms, forehead to the mat, and feel the release of your hips towards your heels, keep the extension, arms are active, and length. Take three breaths here. And then slowly you're gonna lift that right palm all the way up. You're drawing an arc, forehead still to the mat, tap back. And bring it back up to tap four. Lift it up, tap back, and then bring it up four. Just rotations forward and back. Do three more on the right arm. Last two. And last one. And all the way. And then we'll do the same with the left, uh, with the left arm. I have to switch to have more space. <coughs> So you're gonna reach the left arm, you're gonna lift it all the way up, tap back, circling from that shoulder joint, all the way up, and back. Lift it up, back. Keep your elbows straight as much as you can, maybe when you're tapping back, you lose the straightness, but work on keeping it straight. And back. last two. And last two arcs, back, up. And then 
Come back to tabletop. Bring the knees together, hover the knees, hold for five breaths, hips are square. And then extend to plank. Bring it back into tabletop, knees to hover, extend to plank. Tabletop, extend to plank. Do three more. Last two. One, extend to plank, finish a plank, push to downward dog. And then start walking your feet towards your palms, fold. And while we're here, we're going to do a spine twist. So feet together, palms to the mat, head is hanging, bend the left knee, keep the right knee straight. On the inhale, sweep your right palm all the way up. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, bring it back. Your left elbow is still straight. Last one. Inhale. Twist, widen, open the chest. Exhale, bring it back. Switch. Bend the right knee. Keep the left knee straight. Right palm to the mat. Elbow straight. Inhale, sweep that left palm. Yes, open that chest. Twist the cage. Sink with your breath. Two more. And exhale, bring it back. Close that circle. Inhale. All the way up. Exhale, close. Fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle your arms. All the way up. Palms touch. Exhale, relax. We'll do a few things here, so from, we can do balance, we'll do a balance. <coughs> so first you're going to find a fixed point in space, focus on it, okay? And then bring, you can have palms to heart or palms to your weight, whatever, to your waist, whatever makes you comfortable. And pull that right knee to hip level, okay? Flex and point your ankles. Point your toes, flex. Point and flex. Point and flex. And we can come a little bit back, yes? And we do two, two more. Point, flex, point, flex. And then you're going to start hinging from your hips. While you're hinging from your hips, you're sending, pushing the right heel back to extend the leg, still hinging from the hips, either back at 45, or if you can get to completely parallel to the mat, that's still okay. As long as hips are squared, facing the mat, spine and neck aligned, shoulders are squared. And then slowly pull yourself up again, knee to hip lat. We'll do five more. Start hinging from the hips, back and leg, follow. Push the heel back. Palms to heart if you like, and you're parallel to the mat, and bring it back up, knee to hip level, stand, and then again, reach, hinge the back, send the leg, extend, a form of warrior three, parallel, completely parallel, hips are squared, you're not opening the hip, they are facing down to the mat, come up, and we have two more. At any point you need to take a break, listen to your body. Last two. <clears throat> Hinge from your back. Oops. Hinge from your back and send the leg back. Check your alignment and then bring it back up forward. Last one. Send it back. You trust your own strength. Bring it back up. And shake the standing leg. Wow, yeah, shake the standing leg. Nice. We'll do the left side. I guess I can keep, I can look this way. So again, start feet together. Take a breath. Calm your mind, your heart, palms to heart or to your waist. Left knee to hip level. Point and flex. Point and flex, those toes, yes. So we're working our ankles. Balance using our hips and core, knee bent, shoulders.
shoulders are relaxed, spine and neck aligned. And then we'll start hinging from the hips. The back is bending, hence the leg as well is pushing back. Hips are square, make sure they're facing the mat. Shoulders as, as well are square. And you pull the knee back up to come back to stand. Again, push that heel, hinge.
towards the ceiling, open the hip, exhale, bring it forward. We're going again to high lunge. So high on the back toes, front knee on top of ankle. Check your hips. Reach the arms. And just take this opportunity to connect with your breath. Close your eyes and feel what's happening in this breath circle. You inhale through the nose. Chest, belly expands, fills up, so there is a lengthening through your spine to give space. And then on the exhale, you release, so the space is gone, and you hug your belly. Vertebras come close. Lift, feel, fill, exhale, release, hug again. It's like a balloon. Filling it up on the inhale, and on the exhale, you're pressing all the air up. Two more breaths here, keep your back leg straight and active. Front knee on top of ankle, keep pressing that left hip out. A lot is going on. Your front knee, front foot is keeping you here. Rooted to the mat. Spine, core, breath. All these connections. And then slowly hinge from your hips. It's a flat back. And start taking the arms back. Circle them back up. And then circle them back, yes, up, back, inhale, keep the back leg straight, don't let it loosen up, sometimes this happens, and keep it going, two more, last one, and then plant your palms, fold, bring the right foot forward, fold, inhale, lift and lengthen your spine, Exhale, bend your knees, send your arms back. On the inhale, sweep the floor with your fingers. And let's sink into our chair. Make sure your spine and neck aligned. You're sinking low. Neutral spine. And just sink here heavy on your heels. Toes are lifting. And just stay here. Our legs, toes out, heels out, toes up, heels out, toes out again. So we're going into goddess. Make sure your heels are on the same line. And uh, yeah, I need to be this way. Yes. So either it's as wide as your mat or one leg stance. See what you can do. Listen to your body. And we sink into our goddess. Rise up.
thing is, is I like to take coming is like a game. So you gotta keep one leg like the right sole. See the right sole, the left sole. The right, the left knee is bent in front of you, so you have your sh left chin in front of you. Right chin is behind, and like right knee to sole kind of thing. Palms to heart, and you're gonna switch. Take the left foot back, right foot forward, and then switch. Left foot forward, right foot back, and you're still all the time. Your spine and neck align neutral. That doesn't change. You're not caving. You're just playing with your hips and your legs. Yes, every time you come seated onto your sit bones, nice. Keep it going. We do two more. And one. Nice. This time, keep everything as it is. Land your palms in front of you. Start walking them to the left, towards your left knee. If your left knee is forward. If it's the right knee is forward, then you're gonna walk the, towards the other side. The right. And keep walking your palms until you feel this opposite twist. Shoulder going towards one side, hips are going towards the right side. Keep your elbows straight and take three to five breaths deep. It's a nice stretch and twist. And then walk your palms to center. Switch. Bring the right foot forward, left foot back. Lean forward, landing your palms on the mat, walk them towards your right side until you feel those opposite twists. It feels good. Just three more breaths. back <clears throat> and then come to a boat pose uh, stance so you're on your sit bones feel them take the fluffy bits out feet are hip width apart and we have options either have your feet flat on the mat hinge your back to 45 neck and spine still aligned lift the right lift the left are you still on your sit bones lower Come back up, hinge back, lift the right, lift the left, point and flex, do some circles, keep on being on your sit bones, spine and neck aligned, feel your own strength, and then land, come back up, and again, hinge your back, lift the left this time, right, stay here, and we'll just stay here, you can reach your arms, you can point and flex your toes, I want to stay strong on your sit bones, feel your own power, the power of your core, and then release. We'll go again. Hinge your back. Right, left. Shins are parallel to the mat. Reach the arms up. Pull it down. Reach the arms up. Pull them down. Reach the arms up. Pull them down. Keep it go. Three more. Up. Can you keep? Your sit bones root, spine and neck align. Next, last two, one, and then lower all the way. <coughs> Cross your legs, come to seated. You are seated, so see how? Sit bones, neutral, neck and spine. Palms, last thing we're gonna do is few neck rolls and shoulder rolls before we relax and close with few breaths. So right ear to right shoulder, back to center, forward, back to center, left ear to left shoulder, back, forward, right, tap back, forward, back to center, left, back to center, back, center. Left ear to left shoulder, back to center, tip your neck back, and then to the right, forward, left, Back, reset at the center, right, and forward. And then let's mobilize our shoulders, give them some nice circles. So start by forward, taking your shoulder joints forward, up and back, forward, up and back, forward, up and back, 
Yes, get them down low. Feel your shoulder blades lifting up and coming back with you all the way. Do two more in this direction. One. And then take it the other side. Back, up, forward. Back, up, forward. Back, up, forward. Feel this big circle. Feel this massage you're giving your shoulder blades and your shoulder joint. It feels really nice. Next. And then interlace the fingers from the head. And start gently pressing your head down, closing the elbows around your forehead. And just stay here pressing your head down to feel a nice extension at your upper back. Just three more breaths.